Welcome to lesson 5 of Vedic Math. We are going to do divisions in this lesson. Um, this lesson is going to be very helpful for those who already know their times tables. Uh, without knowing your times tables, uh, it is very, very difficult to do division, almost impossible. So, as usual, we're going to go straight into solving problems. Let's do the first problem. We're going to do 39. And we're going to divide this by 3. So if you know your times tables, you know that 3 into 1 will give you 3. So 3 into 1 will give you 3. And then 3 into 3 will give you 9. So your answer is 13. It's that simple. So you can look at it as division as opposite of multiplication. If you were to have multiplied 13 into 3, what do we get? So 3 into 3 is 9, and 3 into 1 is 3, 39. So here we divided 39 by 3, and the answer we got was 13. Let's do this. 3, 6, 0, 6. And we're going to divide this by 6. So, 6 into 3 doesn't go. The number, this one, 3 here is less than 6. So anytime you try to do a lesser number, it doesn't go. So 6 into 3 doesn't go. Six. Then we take 6 into 36. So we know 6 into 36 would be 6. Now 6 into 0 doesn't go. So we write as 0. And 6 into 6 goes by 1. And there is your answer. So you do 6 into 36, and then 0, and then 6. That. So let's, again, um, use our multiplication method. Let's do the 6, 0, 1, into 6. And this is a traditional way of multiplication. Um, the only reason I'm using a traditional method is just so that you understand that in division, you can see how division is opposite of multiplication. So 6 into 1 is 6, 6 into 0 is 0, and 6 into 6 is 36. And that is our answer. Let's try a few more simple ones, very simple ones. Let's divide 45 by 5. So 5 into 4 doesn't go. So then next we move on to is 5 into 45. And yes, we know it is 9. So now, let's do this. 9 into 5. So 
So now let's use the Vedic math method of using complements to do this calculation here. So what would be our base for this one? Nine is closest to ten, right? So what do we get? Complement of nine is one, and complement of five is five. Again, because it is less than our base of ten, we write minus. And then the next step is what do we do? Subtract either nine minus five, or we subtract either five minus one. So we get four, and then we multiply one into five. It's forty-five. As you can see, I mentioned earlier, you can see division as opposite of multiplication. And that's not necessarily true all the times, uh, but it is for now. And you will see down the road why it's not true all the times. Let's do one last one. Three, five, seven, seven. Let's divide this by seven. So seven into three doesn't go, but seven into thirty-five goes by five. Seven into seven goes by one, and seven into seven goes by one. And there is your answer, five eleven. So visit the website uh, to download the worksheets and uh, just practice some of these uh, problems um, and uh, improve your division. I hope you enjoy this. Have fun.